Hi, Claire B. Wow. I just went live and boom, you're there. <laughs> that was quick. All right, guys. Welcome to our weekly sesh, our chat session, our we need a chat session. I am back in the garage because, well, first of all, welcome to another episode of Ken from the Car. My name is Ken. This is the car. It's a new car. It's not my car, but we'll talk about that. We don't just have all this money coming in that we have all these new cars. Oh, no, no, no. But we'll talk about that. Um, if you are new to our channel, make sure to hit subscribe and like and share the love because, well, just because. <laughs> I don't know what else to say besides because. Uh, if you have never seen a Ken from the car, it truly is my favorite video all week. Not only do we talk about crafty deals, good deals, what I'm like totally is going on in this chaotic mind, um, but we talk about everything. You're going to be in the know, okay? All right. So, couple things to keep in mind. There's not really rules, but number one, I do suffer from ADHD. I am on medicine. I've had a few of you reach out to me and say, how do you deal with your ADHD? And it's funny because when I get those comments, it's usually when I'm working and I'm like, well, now my focus is on that. And I tell people like, it's very hard. Medication only does so much. But anyways... We already got off topic. Um, so keep that in mind. Number two, I do have notes um, that I try to keep on. And number uh, three, this isn't everyone's tea. I get that. Um, watches both ads. What ads? I don't know what you're talking about. But anyways. Um, um, see? Already off. That's what happens in my mind. Boop. Uh, all right, so we have so much to talk about. I'm so happy. I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Oh, I forgot. Sean. Hi, Sean. If you're in my craft room, can you bring out the two gnome boards? Thank you. Okay, um, is the car on? Is that better? Now it is not on. It is off. But just so you know, I wasn't going to die because Sean has the garage like, like that. Like, now how do I turn these off? I don't want these on. So I'm not going to die is basically what I'm saying. Um, this new car, we'll talk about that in a second, but let's just give everyone a few minutes to join. If you're watching the replay, skip ahead. Um, oh, Carmen, it's all good. The garage is up a little. I don't need the car on anyways. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm kind of getting used to this car. Ali says, did you get a different car? Yes. So we'll start with that. Let's just start with that. No, we don't have a ton of money to just get cars. No, we didn't, are not looking at getting a Tesla. Essentially our, um, uh, just sec, I have to roll down the windows. If not, I will, um, steam everything up. One window down, two window down. Okay. So, um, We'll start with the car. We have a Hyundai Elantra, and it's still under warranty. And we went in and had the something done to it. I don't know. Sean, what did we have done to our car? What did we have done? To Originally. The Originally, we had the brakes done. We had the brakes done. And then when we got it back, it they, was... Well, they said something was wrong with it, so I had to take it back, which was a small oil leak in the upper end of the engine. Welcome to Ken and Sean from the car. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Who's monitoring comments if you're out here? <laughs> Nobody. Exactly. Bye. The lights are still on. Where? Bye, Sean. Bye. <laughs> For anyone that watched our video last night, it's my life. He is worse than me on keeping on subject. Anyways, uh, so they're saying basically the engine needs to be replaced. And we're like, well, why? And they're like, we don't know. And it should be covered. And we're like, well, it better be covered. And we had to prove that we were doing regular oil changes. So we're just kind of waiting for them to approve it. But they had us in a rental car. And it wasn't up to Sean Standard, number one. But number two, um, they basically said, we're paying so much money on the rental car, we're going to give you a loaner. So they gave us this. It's a Hyundai... Tucson. He loves it. I don't know if he loves it, but it's better than what we had, he says. All right, so that's what's going on with the car. 
can't do much about it, right? Okay, so let's just dive right in. I have a lot to chat with you. We have some good news. We have some not so good news, but we're rolling with it. Um, Sean, okay, he says it's better than a Kia Optima. You need to calm down. What if people in this chat right now have Kia Optima and they're like, I love that car. And you're just like, Pah. anyways. Um, okay, so back by popular demand. Listen, listen, peeps. Holy moly. So Jazzy and Sean um, did a Cyber Monday, which was uh, cutouts. Uh, some of those cutouts, you want to see them? They're so cute. Um, so they had the elf cut out. They had the welcome board cut out. And they had the llama cut out. And if you're not part of our group, you should be. Because uh, we are awesome and we have a lot in store. But a uh, couple things on that. Number one, we're down to one Glowforge. We have two. I didn't break it. I just want everyone to know that. Everyone's like, did you break it again? I didn't break it. There is a printer cable in the back of a Glowforge. And we think that by opening it and closing it and opening it and closing it, it bent the wires. And now it's basically saying lid open. Um, so we have a service in. We do have one Glowforge, but it's kind of stressed Sean out because we got cuts to do. But don't worry, your guys' Cyber Mondays are almost done. Most of you should have gotten it. We have one more batch going up tomorrow, and then we're caught up. But a ton of you guys reached out and said, Ken, I'm so sick of 2020, and my family loved my ornaments you made, and can you make more? So here's the dealio. Yes, we will do one more final round um julie says which one broke my basic the one that we've had the longest we've had it for two and a half years and fun fact this is why i love glowforge this is why if you're going to get a glowforge buy a glowforge because we um use the glowforge community like we always do we were like what broke and uh, it was quickly, we could go in and talk to people, and they said it's probably this cable. And fun fact, they said that a Glowforge, we, we have always lifted our lid all the way up and put it down, and the majority of people say you really shouldn't do that because you're going to stress the cables out. So, fun fact, now you know. So, here is the deal. We literally, literally um, had a ton of you reach out and say, as soon as people saw my effed up ornament they want one so basically this is our elf that says the year everything was seriously elfed up and then it has him going elfed 2020 this was after the um theme of an elf on a shelf and people love them and they said, please do another order. These guys are uh, $15 a piece. They come cut. Uh, I thought I had one. Oh, I do. And shipped like this. So this one's kind of taped together. But it all comes where it's taped. And then you get to paint it and all the stuff. Um, they do take a long time to cut because these are etched. So right here, this is the Glowforge etching. And it gives it a natural burnt color. Um, so they take about an hour to do like 10 of them, which is a long time. And now that we're down to one Glowforge, yikes. Um, but we're doing one last call. You have until tomorrow, which is Thursday, December... 10th, right? Is today the 9th? Yes, December 10th at 1159. Um, I just want to show you the ones that we painted. So I painted this one like an elf on the shelf. How cute is that? And then um, I saw someone in my group post uh, an elf. Now, fun fact, I love Rankin, Rankin and Bass um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I just love it, right? And look at him. So did you know elf? the one with Will Farrow, based their look of North Pole off of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which they did. So then it got me to thinking, well, we can paint them like that. So that's like the head workshop elf at the workshop. And then I did the uh, guy that is wants to be a dentist. Isn't he cute? And then the girls... And I just took red ribbon and cut it. So we have all of these just to give you inspiration. Um... Look at how cute they are, you guys. Because 20, let's be honest, 2020 is effed up, man. It's been a rough year for everyone involved. Um, but this will be our last cut of the year. So um, after this cut, 
it will be Christmas time. It's like we are baking on Sean's cooking channel. We're doing so much stuff. So if you want to get in on this, fill out the form. It closes tomorrow at 11.59. It's actually just down in the description. Um because this is the last time we will be cutting this year and last time. Because really, by this time next year, there shouldn't be an ornament that says 2021 was effed up. If there is, we're not going to make it. We're not, not going to make it. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, on that subject, we've gotten so many people saying, what group should I be part of? So, here's the deal. We have a cutout group. That is where we post stuff like our... Elf up ornament, the llama, and this. Um, so you need to join that group. Everyone is welcome. So just check it out. Um, we also have a golden retriever group. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about goldens. You guys know we had puppies this year. It is one of the best things that has happened in my life. They are cute. Tomorrow, cute little Remy, which was Peeny, is coming to stay with us for a couple of days, and I cannot wait. We'll do a live and show you guys. Um, but we have a puppy group where you can follow them, and I have started a puppy advent calendar. What I did is I went through my phone and found a whole bunch of puppy videos that I love of them being little cute nuggets, and every day I'm sharing a video and just saying, uh, you know, like 17 more days until puppy's first Christmas, 16 more days. And so this way the people in the group get to see a video. Plus all the owners are posting their puppies and they're so freaking adorable. And I can't call them puppies anymore. I can't. Because Cece is turning into a woman. That's right. You guys, she started her first heat, which means Hades can't come over. And she's no, she's not a puppy, not yet a woman. She's just trying to be the best puppy she can be. But now she's wearing a diapy. Because <laughs> if not, I think someone's buying my car. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for choosing Ken's garage. He is not here right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Okay, no one's there. Um. So anyways, yeah. But check out our puppy group. It's so much fun. The advent calendar. Um, people post in there all the time. The picture of freaking uh, Kylo. You guys, he looks... I, 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 you're like, are you frozen? Um. He looks so much like his daddy. I can't not even right now. Um, he is, he's so handsome. I don't have it or I would show it to you, but if you, um, did I send it? Maybe I sent it to someone. I think I sent it to Jazzy. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Look how much he looks like his daddy. So Kylo is on the left and Lainey is on the right. Does he not look like Han? He looks so much like his daddy. I love him. I love him so much. Anyways, um, so join that group. Uh, we do also have other groups I'll chat about before we talk about a puppy because I have a puppy update. Um, we are going to be doing a Ken and Sean show this Friday. So if you like that humor and that's your jam, um... There's a lot that goes into a Ken and Sean show. We need to make sure Jazzy's there. We need to get wine for Sean. We need to get truffles for Ken. And we have to go in a phased approach with Ali. We promise her liquor. We promise her goodies. We um, have to slowly get her down the stairs and into the back room. And then she'll be on live with us. Because it's not the same without her. Um, and she needs this. She needs this. You want to know why? I'm telling you what. Okay. Okay, let's talk about that, then the puppy update. You guys all know Allie's remodeling her kitchen. Uh, part of her birthday gift is the uh, services of Ken and Sean Installation Service. And last weekend, we uh, put up the tile and removed the tile flooring. And this next weekend, we're installing the wood flooring. But then, poor little Allie, it's one thing after another. Her One of her rooms downstairs got flooded. Now she needs a new hot water tank. But don't worry, Ken and Sean's installation service is going to install that too. Why? 
not. We're not going to pay someone to install that. So anyways, we were there, but I hope you guys enjoyed some of the lives we did because I love being with Ali. We just laugh. Uh, we pulled up her floor and tile and we used a heat gun and I just was addicted to using a crowbar and just, it's so satisfying getting under that tile if you got it in one piece. It was hard work though. I was sore. Uh, but I just laugh with her. We just we just laugh. And it reminds me of why that time away from all internet is important. We're going to chat about that. But anyways, um, so we're going to do Ken and Sean show and then Ken's fans. We have a group. Um, right now, it's called DIY Home Decor with Ken because I'm a spaz and can't make up my mind. It's probably going to go back to Ken's creations. <laughs> um, so you should be part of that group too. Did you just see that? Like, it looked like something was coming out of my ceiling. All right. Let's talk about puppy update. So, while we were at Allie's installing the floor, I got an email because I wanted to go meet our puppies. So, I said, um, I would love to come see the puppies. And she was like, hey, Ken, I'm glad you reached out to us because I, I have a situation. And I was like, oh, I don't like this. So, essentially, as you guys know, Sean, Jazzy, and Allie surprised me with the puppy. Supposed to come home on... January 15th, and when we reserved the pup, there was one left, and we were actually said there was none, and there was going to be a spring one. Well, they reached out and said that a mom, a single mom that's a nurse, bought, wanted to buy a puppy for her son, and she had sent in the application, and they never received it, but then they got her deposit in the mail, and they said, we don't have a puppy for you. Unfortunately, it went to someone else, and she was like, oh my gosh, I already have the photo wrapped under the tree. And so they reached out to me and said, hey, we're not asking you to do anything, but this is a scenario. Bleeding heart unite. I can't take a puppy away from a kiddo at Christmas. I can't do that. I can't. So, um, I didn't shut the cars now, or I didn't shut the garage now that it's not on. Um, cause it's freaking me out. Maybe someone like there could be like a monster out there, like upside down. Anyways, I can't, I can't do it. So I told them we would wait for the next litter in, in the spring. And I think it's around May. And so this kid can have a, a Christmas puppy because I can't, I can't take a puppy away. So, um, even though it's heartbreaking and I, uh, want to cry, um, the magic of Christmas, my mom instilled in me so much that it's about kids and believing. And this mom who's a nurse dealing with COVID, she was so uh, stressed that she forgot to send it. So I was like, you know what? No rush. We can wait. So with that said, I am happy to show you some pictures of our new... Where are they? Here they are. And a video. Now, it's the same mom. So, the mom is the same, but it's a different dad. So, this was the puppy that we were getting. That was the mom and dad. But now, the this is the difference. So, there's mom and dad. So, it's a different dad. And he's about the same color. They're, I mean, just a little darker. But look at how handsome he is. Okay. Look at his face. And then I have a video. I'm going to show you the video because here's the deal. We um, we love Goldens. I like the lighter. <laughs> you guys, this isn't good. Our stick is losing. We're falling. <laughs> It's 2020, people. We gotta roll with it, okay? I think it's good. Okay, so um, traditionally we like uh, darker goldens, but a light golden is in my heart because of Toby. Um, but she sent me this video of the dad, and wait till you see him. Okay, let me unmute it. I gotta make sure you guys can see this. I can't. I can not. Did you hear him grunting? 
Like, I love dogs. And look at his head, that blocky head. So I'm really excited now just because it's meant to be. I agree with all of you that my mom is up there and she's taking care of stuff, so we don't have to worry about it. So um, we will be getting him in May and we'll get first pick of the boy, which is really cool. And I can't wait. So I, I'm really excited. Even though it's a little sad, um, we won't get it earlier. It's going to work out perfect. And this little kid, or I don't know if he's little, but he's going to wake up to a puppy knowing he's getting a puppy. And that makes my Christmas. Like, I love gifts and giving gifts, so that makes my Christmas. So, anyways, that's your puppy update. Um, so I wanted to chat about our merch. You guys have been so awesome. Um, everyone that's been wearing our Listen Linda masks, we've even had a few people say they got comments in public, which is awesome. So you can order that. Don't forget, you can order your Ken's Creations cup, which is my favorite. It says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, listen. <sighs> I don't it's might be it's this this new car. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, okay. Listen. Okay, I feel like it's gonna work this time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, all right, I need to tell you about something, you guys. You guys, I have found something that I think we need, and I, I may be addicted to it. Um, wait a minute. Wait, wait. First, before I tell you what I need, they only have, I have to tell you this. You guys know I love getting things. You guys know I'm a collector. And I'm going to show you what came in the mail. Where is it? Look at what came in the mail today. Last week, showed you an emerald. Dusty Rose. I am so paranoid about this camera now falling. Okay, we're good. You guys all know I'm a collector, right? I have to have the whole set. Well... You, you know also that we do lives, and we have an Archon mount. Listen, they only have 500 of these. They now have a Chocotor Teal camera mount. Are you kidding me? I need it. Look it. It matches Chocotor perfectly. And if you don't want teal, you can get pink. 500. So use Ken's Creations. You get 20% off. The link's down below. 500, then they're gone, okay? So I had to show this because they're probably not gonna make it through the week because of how many designers. It's teal. It's gonna match all my stuff. Um, so I wanted to talk about that, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about, um, we're gonna talk about, of course, sales. I can't get over the sale, believe me. Um, what are they? They're a uh, camera mount. So like when you're doing live streams above or recording above, it holds your camera and then you can record down below. Here's a better example. Look, see, your camera goes there and it records for you. Right? Do you still use your Archon mount? Surprisingly, yes, we use it a lot actually for meetings. Jazzy uses it. We have it attached from our ceiling to take above mounts. Um, and it's $100, but you get 80 bucks off, or 80 bucks off, $20 off when you use Ken's Creations. Um, speaking of good sales, I cannot stress this enough. Cricket sale, if you have not taken advantage of this sale, do. It's basically 50% off everything. Everything. We're talking materials, tools, mats, blades, accessories, everything. And just to show you, I put $655 worth of stuff in my cart. It took off 50% off. Look at that. $327. Then I used my code KBCL and I'm a Cricut Access member. Here's the deal. People keep asking me, Ken, how do you get the Cricut cuties? I want some. I want those Cricut cuties. How do I get them? The only way that they're releasing them now is in mystery boxes that are 
Cricut Access exclusive. So you have to be a Cricut Access member. So if you're not, use my link, become an Access member because they go quick and you wanna already be set up with it. But Cricut Access member and using my code KBCL gave us another $72 off. So look at this. That's my total. I saved $377, 60% off. So I don't know how long that's going to last, but I'm telling you right now, take advantage of that deal. All right, let's talk about this. Yesterday, for those of you who watched my talk tour live, you may or may not know I have a gnome addiction. I admit it. I know this, and I found these cute little gnome ornaments, and I was like, how am I going to use them? So I took our Be Merry kit and attached them with paint sticks and made this. How? <laughs> so cute. So we got so many people saying, how did you do that? I recorded a video today, and I'm going to edit it tonight, and look at it. <laughs> so, this will be uploaded by tomorrow. Um, that way, um, you guys can uh, figure out how you can make it yourself. So easy, and... I can't wait. So I'll edit it. Tonight should be up by tomorrow. Um, make sure to watch us tonight. We're going to be doing another Chalk Tour Live around 6.30. It'll be a short one tonight. Um, just because I, 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 I love it. Like, my goal, here's my goal for 2021. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I apologize. Um, my goal for 2021 is to focus on things that empower people to do things that they never thought they could. And what I mean by that is Chalk Tour. Glowforge, um, being friends with me. These all empower you. <laughs> I'm just kidding the last one. But seriously, the Glowforge and Chocotor, I have seen change people's lives. They have started at jobs and retail or banks or high-paying jobs, and they've been able to leave their jobs because Chocotor or Glowforge or a combination of both have allowed them the flexibility. And I use Jasmine as a perfect example. When I bought the Glowforge, never would have I imagined. Same with Chalk Tour, either of them. Never would have I imagined that it would lead to such wonderful things. Um, so uh, the Chalk Tour gave us the freedom to work from home and the Glowforge has given empowerment to Jasmine I've never seen. Um, Jasmine's always worked with me. She's been an assistant. She was doing a lot of social media. And one day she was like, I have this Glowforge. Can we do stuff with it? I was like, you can do whatever you want with it. She's like, well, I want to cut stuff. I want to, you know, I want to make ornaments. I want to make name tags. I want to do this. And I was like, how about it? And that's all her and Sean, you guys. They have taken ownership and it's been so amazing to see that empowerment. And so that's my focus for 2021 is focusing on things that empower people, either financially empower them or just mentally empower them. Because let's be honest, sometimes we need chalk therapy. We need art therapy. We need that moment of therapy of just making us feel normal again. Well, and wine. We need liquor and wine. We need, well, we need all of that. Which reminds me why we all need the... I have it in my pile, just a sec. We all need the magical drink works, which makes a, an adult beverage for you in a pod. I have one coming for Christmas, so we'll see it. Speaking of gadgets, OMG, this next thing, I can't even handle it. Cannot even handle it. So people will tell me all the time, Ken, you're hard to buy for because if you want something, you just buy it or you make it or I don't know what else you would want. I have found something that I kind of want. It's kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. It's called the Thermomix. It doesn't look fancy, right? Look at it. It's programmable. You want to hear what this thing can do? It can sear at high temperatures. 
You can make sugar for honeycomb and caramel, ferment for making healthy yogurt. You can um, get the perfect steak. You can cook slow cook heavenly pulled pork. You can use it as a kettle to bring water to boil. You can thicken sauces in it. It can rice do a rice cooker, egg bowler. It warm up allows you to reheat uh, leftovers. It blends soups, smoothies, silky smoths, beets, eggs, and sugar together for cakes. Chops salads in seconds. Crushes ice. You can cook using it. You can grate hard cheese like Parmesan. You can emulsify. You can knead bread. You can mill ice and sugar. You can mix up cakes. You can... It does everything. But here's the thing. I left you a video down there so you can see this. It does it all at the same time. Like, it cooks soup, which then the steam will steam your vegetables, which then will grill the meat on the top. It's expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's $1,500, which I know, I know. Calm down, Karen. I know. <laughs> but I don't cook. Sean cooks, and I could do this. I, I'm not saying I'm going to get it for Christmas because I don't know. I need to look into it more. But the video, your, your mind's going to be blown. They make risotto. They make a salmon meal with potatoes and broccoli all in one, and then they make a really nice sauce. Um... I am obsessed with it. So take a look at the video down below because like I'm I'm like thinking like this is cool. I've never seen this. And there is an element of it which is weird that you can join and then make money kind of I guess on selling the machine. I don't quite get that part. I just want to buy the machine, but still. And I know I'm starting to think maybe I have an expensive taste because the Opal Ice Machine, I know, wasn't cheap, worth it. The um, Glowforge, not cheap, worth it. This could actually make me cook stuff. Never know, right? We'll try it. Um, so, uh, let's see what else we need to chat about. Oh, forgot to tell you guys that um, our good friends over at 143 Vinyl want you to know you can get Santa Sacks at, uh, I think they're 25% off. Use Santa as a coupon. Use our link down below. Look it up. Be careful, though, saying I just bought Santa sack. You want to make sure you don't say that. Um, so, are they not the cutest? Ah, how do you find these gadgets? Okay, well, let me tell you. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Facebook is listening to us. YouTube is listening to us. How do I know this? Because I have, there is health benefits to saying if you should take two shots of tequila a night. Just saying, look it up. Look it up. I'm not lying. It's, it's on the Google. Google says two shots of tequila is actually good for you. But even though I love tequila, it can be harsh. And everyone's saying, well, you should get Patron. Sean's Freaking phone now has ads for Patron tequila. I mean, I'm shook. So I talk about like gadgets all the time. I get into an endless cycle on YouTube where I start watching like cooking videos and then all of a sudden it's got a ton of like recommendations. And the Thermomix just happened to be a recommendation and it's really big in Australia, but not so big here. And everyone says, is this $1,500 machine worth it? And I was like, no. And then after watching it, I was like, I need 10 of them. I do. Well, maybe not 10, but I want one. Anyways, so if Santa's listening, drink maker, Thermomix, or whatever it's called, you never know. I um, Speaking of Christmas, have you guys watched the Mariah Carey Apple special? So Mariah Carey, which fun fact of the day, she makes $4 million a year just on All I Want for Christmas song. $4 million. So... Literally, I'm going to be spending the rest of 2020 writing a Christmas song and debuting it next year so I can make $4 million a year. I don't know what it's going to be. We might have to work on it as a group. But if you want to make money, like literally just Christmas song, right? New Zealand. Hi, New Zealand. Um, so that's what we're going to work on is becoming millionaires by writing a Christmas song. Maybe it'll be like, it's okay to be gay. In Santa Slay. Hey, hey. That's a hit. 
Done. Give me my $4 million check, please. Anyways, um, what were we talking about before that? Oh, Mariah Carey. So Mariah Carey. I decided I'd watch it because I do love her Christmas album. So here's the, the synopsis if you want it. Mariah Carey is contacted by Santa's workshop elves because COVID has everyone not lighting up for Christmas and there's no Christmas lights and Christmas spirit is down. You would think it would be Santa that would save Christmas. Nope. Nope, it's Mariah and her boobies. <laughs> because <laughs> those jingle bells are out through the whole special. <laughs> and J Jennifer Hudson's in it. Ariana Grande, Snoop Dogg, J Hud's Jingle Bells look uh, amazing. Um, there's an elf that's a little, like, he's a little control freak, a little tightly wound. Allie may say it's me. I disagree. But anyways, she sings songs and she saves Christmas. Don't worry. Mariah's going to save it. It. I don't like it. That has Pennywise. I don't like that. Anyways, it was actually kind of good. I watched it while wrapping some gifts. It kind of gave me the warm, fuzzy feeling. Could have also been the tequila. I don't know. It was a combination. Maybe I just liked it because of the tequila. I did take my tequila before watching it. Maybe that's why it was... Ma Maybe that's what we need to make Christmas magic is just liquor. Maybe? And Mariah Carey. She looks amazing, by the way. And Jingle Bells. Um, Pamela says, I have Apple TV. What do I search for? You just go to the Apple TV, um, app. Like there's an Apple TV, not just the box. Like they have an app called TV and you go there. And if you're a subscriber, it's the first thing it says Mariah Carey's Christmas special. I don't know. You have a soundtrack too, but it's actually, it wasn't, uh, 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 it was good. I'm not gonna lie. She saves Christmas. Congratulations, Mariah. All I want for Christmas is you. Okay. I do have some viewer mail I want to open. Um, but first and foremost, I have to give a huge shout out to, uh, Sean and Jazzy. This week I have been editing videos like crazy. I've edited four Dixie Bell videos that are going up. We're in the process of editing our Glowforge videos. I'm editing that gnome video, um, which editing just takes, it takes a long time. You got to take the clips, you got to edit them, voiceover, music, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, and Jazzy and Sean have been in uh, cut mode all week, shipping stuff out, making sure packages arrive on it, which by the way, um, people... Be nice to your your post people because our boxes are coming kind of rough. Like they're be, I think they're working so much that um, boxes are getting squished and things are arriving damaged. So I'm not saying you have to leave stuff out. I know people do, but I try to tell my mail lady I love her every day because they're getting there at like 5 a.m. and leaving at like 8 p.m. So they're working our butts off so we can have a good Christmas. They're the ones that are truly saving Christmas. No offense, Mariah. You and the girls look great in that show. You got a great voice that I'm sure was digitally altered, but it's our male people, right? Um, oh, yeah. Carol says, uh, Mariah's a big diva. Wait till you watch the Christmas special. She does not hide from the fact that she's a big diva. <laughs> but the Snoopy's in it. And all the Peanuts characters, so that makes it. But she does tell the Peanuts character that they're trying to steal her song, so just saying. All right, um... So anyways, uh, we will be live on Chocolate Tour tonight. Check us out. I am going to let you know about all of these amazing gifts that I might look into. Um, I'll have the video uploaded for the Chillin' with my Nomies. Um, I'm super excited about our puppy now. It just sucks that we have to wait now until all the way till May, but it'll be worth the wait. I do have some viewer mail, so let's open it real quick. Um, I'm trying to keep them all as they come in. Ali sent us her family photo. It's so freaking cute. Um... We got this card. Ooh, Thomas Kincaid. From Hallmark. I need to go to Hallmark because Hallmark has my singing snowman I need to get. It says, warm memories, cherished traditions, unexpected joys. Wishing you and yours holiday season to remember. And it's from Kyle. Kyle and Chris. He has a uh, YouTube channel. I love Kyle. Um... That's so nice. We really should do Christmas cards. Every year, I'm like, this is the year I'm going to do Christmas cards, and we never do. I really should. 
It's a thing, right? So this is from my girl, Channa and Kent Riley. Channa, I love her dearly. She was, um, I met her through Chalk Tour now. She is doing kind of her own empowerment thing. But um, I love this time of year because people send us their photo cards so you get to see their entire family. Look at how cute they are. Are you kidding me? How adorb. How adorbs. And it just says, uh, Merry Christmas with love, the Riley family, which is super sweet. So thank you. Um, I do have stuff coming from all of our puppies. So I get it wrapped that up. And we I got to reach out to the owners and see when I can get them their gifts. So there's seven little goodie bags coming. Um, I'm doing pretty good on my Christmas trip. I don't know how you guys are doing, but I was kind of concerned like the state's going to shut down. So I'm doing good there. We're going to be doing baking soon. I also got a box today. This is from Christine Boyd. So Christine, just so you guys know, um, is on our Chalk Tour team. And this year at uh, our Chalk Con, virtual Chalk Con, we found out who got to go to Africa. And this year they were taking four people, the three top earners of the most donations, um, minus the people that have already gone, which is myself and Ann Schneider. And then a wild card where if you had so many in donations, you got put into a bucket and they would draw a name. And Christine got that. So I'm so excited because someone from my team is going back to Africa. So it's like we're going back in a way. But anyway, she sent me a thing that says, thank you for showing me the light. Love, Christine. Because she's going, I think, in like less than 20 days. It's like right after Christmas, they're going to Africa. Oh, <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That ornament is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And it's got a card. It says, Merry Christmas. May the beauty of the season bring peace and deepest joy and a happy new year. Love, Christine. And then she even sent out this for Watts of Love that says, Bring light, be enlightened, Watts of Love. Please follow my journey to Malawi, Africa with Watts of Love and Chaka Tour on January 2nd, 2021. She gives you her Facebook page, which is for love of country, um, and then a little QR code, which is awesome. And the more we can get that news out there is um, Christine, the CEO of Chaka Tour, that went there last year. Um, and then here is, it's kind of hard to see, but there's us in Africa. You can see Sean's there, and there I am, and Christine's there. There is um, a group of where we were doing light distribution. I love this. I love it. It's it's. I'm so proud of her. That's such a huge accomplishment. So, all right, everyone, that is our weekly Ken from the car. Uh, we should be doing another one next week. And then we're getting down to crunch time for Christmas. So I know you guys are all going to be very, very busy. Um, I want to thank everyone that continues to use our links down below, supports us by doing our cutouts, um, especially these cutie patootie elves, and um, watch our chalk tour videos. Um, I am so thankful every day to wake up knowing that I have the best crew out there. I have the best community. What's up with PayPal? I don't know what's up with PayPal. Is something going on with PayPal? I don't know what's up with PayPal. Oh, you can still, yeah, sorry. You can use PayPal. Um, PayPal is just charging, they they won't allow me to do friends and family anymore. So there is a fee to use PayPal. So um, sometimes that fee gets pushed on to the user. So you can still use it. It's just a fee is added to PayPal. So if you're talking about like when you pay stuff, um, I think that's what you're talking about. I hope. But yeah, you can still use it. So, all right, everyone, we will be, um, live on our chocolate tour around uh, 6, 6.30. Um, I know I'll, I'm going to drive careful on the way home. It's a brand new car. We got to be very, very careful. Uh, and uh, don't forget, if you do want those Elfed Up ornaments, we are down to crunch time. Uh, that closes tomorrow at 11.59 Pacific time. Um, order those, and then we are going to... Um, when we send out the invoices for this, yes, you can use Venmo, you can use Zelle, you can use PayPal. There's a whole bunch of different options, so we'll go over that. The only reason we like to use PayPal for our cutouts is then we have a tracking, it's guaranteed, and we have your address. But we will um, talk about that tomorrow when we close it. So thank you so much for spending this 45 minutes with me in this not 
owned car. And uh, thank you for the support, the love. I adore all of you. Sean loves all of you. Jazzy loves all of you. I hope you're enjoying our little uh, uh, random photos of our house at Christmas time and my little lives from Ali's house. Uh, we have it. We love it. So IRS doesn't like PayPal. IRS just doesn't report it. Now that I know I'm on my own, I now know I have to go find that form in the back office. So I now know what you're talking about, Claire. <laughs> that was last week's. Last week's, that's right. So anyways, we will see you over on H-A-G-N. I don't know what that is, Misfit Crafter, but hugs, maybe? H-A-G-N. I don't know. Happy. I'm trying to... Oh, I did want to say one last thing. We were thinking for the puppy, we had a cute suggestion for Miss Beth. I gotta love you for Jackson. It's J. A K S O N, and it would stand for Jazzy and uh, and Ken, Sean, Ali, Nugget. Have a good night. Now I feel old. Thanks, Diane. <laughs> yeah, Jackson, it's kind of cute, right? And it has meaning. Ja Jazzy. Ali, Ken, Sean, R, Nugget. I love it. So it's Hank or Jackson. We're kind of in between those two. So some stuff to think on. We'll see you next week for another Ken from the card. Love you.